Noemiya is upcoming 5 star pyro character in Inazuma and she packs a huge punch in terms of looks and playstyle. So we're going to get a huge event with Inazuma region in 1.7. Most likely this is going to happen along with this character and she excels in creating fireworks. This character might just be what you're looking for. Noemiya comes with stat progression with crit rate. This is going to be a key factor in determining what she's going to be doing. She's going to be doing massive pyro damage. The normal attack animation looks pretty nice as if you want to use it. Does 5 hit normal attacks with the 3rd and last attack being the highest. As for her charge attacks, she comes with 2 charges just like Ganyu. Her first charge fires off flaming arrow that deals pyro damage. Her charge level 2 generates maximum of 3 kindling arrows based on time spent charging. Releasing them as part of this aim shot, kindling arrows will home in nearby opponents, dealing pyro damage on hit. Not really sure how the damage works with kindling arrows, it says 29% at level 10, it is homing arrows though. Let's take a closer look at an E skill. The skill is identical to Hutel's E skill, it's similar to how the effect of the skill makes the character to do only pyro damage. So for Hu Tells E, she uses it and she loses health. She's in turn going to be doing only pyro damage with her normal and charge attacks. For Yoimiya, she'll be going into this fire dance mode where all of her normal attacks will be converted to blazing arrows which is going to be doing pyro damage and it's gonna have good increased damage that comes with the skill. The duration is for 10 seconds with cooldown of 20 seconds. So during this 10 second phase, you're looking to do massive normals, shooting arrows as much as you can. Any cryo character that leaves a long duration of cryo effector is going to be beneficial. I am thinking that her normals during this phase seems like it will do 20k to 50k melt damage. She will show massive numbers to how fast she attacks and utilizing melt or vaporize with Zing Chu will be ideal. Ayaka's Q skill is going to be doing continuous cryo damage to the enemies. Yoimiya's blazing arrows seems like it will work really well with Ayaka's Q. The ability to aim and shoot pyro arrows effectively seems like the ultimate advantage here. As for the Q skill, this skill is similar to Albedo's E skill. When Albedo uses his E, it casts an elevator and creates a radius, which then when you do any form of attack, it will automatically proc which does geo damage continuously. Her skill is going to be doing that but in the form of blaze explosion damage. When Yoimiya uses the Q skill, she will start with the deal damage of 322%, then it will do continuous blaze damage which will trigger explosions dealing AoE pyro damage of 233%. When an opponent affected by is defeated during the skill's duration, the effect will pass on to nearby opponent who will inherit the remaining duration. One blaze explosion may occur every 2 seconds. Duration is for 10 seconds with cooldown of 20 seconds. And to top it off, her last passive talent called Summer Scorch gives other party members 10% attack increase for 15 seconds. Additionally, it will be increased attack bonus by 1% of each stack her other passive is stacked. So she's like Ning Ling on steroids. The reason why I say this is that she will be just as good or better than Ning Ling applying pyro and when you're actually using her on the field for the duration of each skill state, you'll dish out massive pyro damage as well. So Yoimiya is going to be kind of like Hutao Nabero. So when Yoima uses the E skill, it's kind of like similar to Hutao's E. And you're just going to be doing massive pyro damage with the normal attack. Then she's going to use her burst. So it's going to be kind of like Alberto's E. And then continuously it's going to proc, um, what do you call it, the blaze damage. So whenever a character attacks, uh oh, uh oh. <laughs> so the reason why I'm saying Yoimiya's Q is kind of like Abedo Z is because of the blaze damage that's going to be attached to the enemies. It's going to continuously proc every two seconds. So you're going to be doing a lot of elemental reactions. On top of that, she doesn't need to be out on the field. So she's going to be doing massive normal attack damage with the pyro then once that's over she uses the Q get attack percent to all party members and you just switch do continuous blaze explosion damage so you can do any reaction you can do charge attack it will do continuous blaze damage instead of this geo damage it's just going to be pyro damage so it's going to be really easy to apply uh, melt and all kinds of stuff Vaporize, um, overload reactions. I'm 
I'm gonna be going over the best weapons and the artifacts and it's gonna start right now. For the best weapons, first need to find out how you're gonna be using her. If you want to use her as an insane support, the stringness can be a great choice as this comes with elemental mastery. Also increases elemental skill and burst damage. At highly refined, this weapon is super OP. Ally Hunter fits well with her cause the weapon effect increases damage per second while she's not on the floor which in turn makes the attack increase and the attack primary is a nice stat to have. Black Cliff Warble and the Bad Pass weapon are viable options. I would take the Black Cliff between the two because she comes with crit rate as ascension. Rush Rust is dangerous with her as this weapon increases normal attack. If you want to prioritize especially for her E skill, this weapon is among top for sure. The new upcoming 5 star weapon Thundering Pulse comes with crit damage, increases 20% attack and comes with stacks that increases normal attack damage which goes up to 40% increased normal attack at 3 stacks. This weapon is due to change but seems like the best choice for her. Ammo Spell is also a good option as this weapon increases normal and charge attacks. Skyward Harp and LG for the end are excellent choices. Finally the upcoming Demon Slayer Bow comes with attack percent, increases normal attack and charge attack damage and that effect will be increased by additional 100% which is nice. And as for free to play options, Prototype Crescent is viable with her as free to play option is nicely made going to have to use charge attacks here and there the maximum benefit as for other great weapons there are great choices but many find out how you want to use her every weapon is situational as not everyone has such weapons for the best artifacts, since her E has a long cooldown, you won't get the full benefit of the 4 piece set bonus. Also at 1 stack, you get 7.5% increased pyro damage. If you happen to roll great substats on crimson, it's still a great choice, maybe the best choice actually, but you can opt in for 2 piece crimson with 2 piece noblesse. You will get increased burst damage this way, the blaze damage seems like a route you can optimize. Gladiator will straight up increase attack, which applies to everything, and 2 piece wonders will provide you ADM which is nice for reaction. 4 piece retracing blade can work especially if you have shield providing characters to have increased normal attack damage and finally lava walker set is low key a good fit the 4 piece set bonus is definitely a good way to go with as the increased damage for affected pyro which is a lot of time when using her so i personally wouldn't mind using it out of the 4 or 5 stars coming in the inazuma region yoimiya can be your main dps and support this character don't really have flaws if any it's that she won't have crazy numbers but her consistent damage from her skills is way too op over time she will dish out massive damage as she will dish out massive small numbers capable of doing massive big numbers. Obviously we need to wait and see until she comes out for the best builds for her. These builds is how I would build her from predictions. This is just my opinion on it. I know it's a hard decision on which character is going to be great and the best choice for you. They are all going to be insane. I hope you decide which character you want to use while you're on cruise control. Help your boy out with a sub. Thanks for watching. My name is Aiden and I will see you in the next video. Thank you